Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, Jesus, God, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that has this hope in himself purifies himself, even as Jesus is pure. Now, listen, the context of uh, 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 the context there of being purified. It's talking about your heart being purified from fear. That's what it's talking about, right? It's not talking about that you might not say a bad word anymore or that you'll never get frustrated again or that you'll... uh, It's not talking about your bad behavior. That's not the kind of purity we're talking about here, right? Now, listen, in case you don't know, if fear is removed from your heart, you will find your flesh going to rest. And as your flesh goes to rest you'll find that the fruit of the flesh or the works of the flesh have no opportunity to come out of you. So yes, your flesh will also be healed from the fruit of death. But John's talking about the root of the thing. He's not talking about the outward part right now. So when he talks about us being purified, he's talking about our hearts being purified from fear. If you read into the next chapter of 1 John, he talks about love being perfected in our hearts. And what he means by that is the fear that was there has now been replaced by the love of God, right? He says our hearts will be purified even as Jesus is pure. Well, when, it, when, when John says Jesus is pure, he's talking about he's been raised from the dead never to be able to die again. The death that come upon his body on the cross has been cleansed from his body and it can never come back to his body. So his body's been purified from death. So even as Jesus' body's been purified from death, we might not see our bodies yet purified from death, but we see him. And that gives us a certainty that our bodies will even be purified from death. And as we behold death, having been overcome in the body of his resurrection, that gives us a surety that we're going to see the same thing happening in us, right? And what that does then is it purifies the fear that's in the world from death, from our hearts. That's what it means. So you don't make yourself pure. What it's saying is, The testimony that God has given in Jesus, which is the word of life, which is the word of a life that has overcome death in the flesh, that testimony will purify your heart from fear, even as Jesus believed that testimony, and it purified his body from the wound of death that came upon him at the cross. Hallelujah. Right? The the sting of death is not just that it can sting your body with physical death. That is also the sting of death. But the sting of death is it comes to sting your heart with fear. And the, the death is what it's used to sting your heart with fear. Well, if you can now behold the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, and see that he's been purified from the sting of death, his body's been cleansed from the wound of death, he's been sanctified from the death that's in the world, and you can see that's the same thing that's coming for you, and nothing can stop that from manifesting in you, your heart will be healed from fear. Right? That's what John's talking about there. God's after healing your heart from fear. That's what he's after. You keep thinking he wants you to go pick the bad fruit out of your life. But Jesus said he'd come to take an ax to the root. I don't know how many times I said that. He didn't come to pick the bad fruit off your tree. Jesus himself said, I I didn't come to make clean the outside of the cup. Right? I came to make clean the inside of the cup. Right? What is he talking about making clean the inside of the cup? He's talking about your heart having been stung with fear through the death that entered the world through Adam. That's what he's talking about. So, right? If you see something in your life that you don't like, that you think isn't the fruit of life, listen, man, recognize the root of the tree. Don't condemn yourself over the fruit you might see, but recognize the root of the problem is fear. Okay, then start talking with God about your heart being healed from the fear that's in the world. And how he did that. And you will find the love of God perfected in your heart. Right. Does that make any sense? Okay. Every man that has this hope in himself, this certainty in himself, 
is purified by that certainty, even as Jesus was purified from death. 